Over a period of more than 10 years, we learned that the behavior and properties of inorganic nanoparticles resembles uh, the behavior and properties of many biological nanostructures. This is surprising because uh, they are very different. But when the structure becomes of nanoscale dimensions, the interactions become very similar to each other. And we exploited them and explored it in a number of directions. And in this paper, uh, we learned that chiral nanoparticles uh, behave very much like proteins forming chiral mesoscale structures. The chirality of nanoparticles is a very significant property because it gives us entrance to many potent technologies from the new armament against antibiotic-resistant bacteria. It also gives us the possibility to form new types of hyperspectral devices to image our environment against threats and against diseases. So in this paper we learn that chiral nanometer scale particles which have chiral amino acids on them, they form mesoscale helices the transition from atomic to mesoscale dimensions of the chirality is important because it allows us first to use new imaging technologies to understand the chirality much better than before, but also in order to transition to new type of applications. The mesoscale dimensions of helices are very convenient for the manipulations of photons and they are much more efficient in that, that individual nanoparticles. So we also were quite surprised and excited to see that the yield of specific enantiomer, helices right or helices, or, helices, or helices left, is very high. Compared to many other organic type of reactions which can be analogous to that, they can be as high as 10 times larger or 100 times larger. This becomes very significant when we want to translate uh, these technologies into the devices. Now we are capable of doing that because we have almost pure uh, helicity of the semiconductor nanoscale species. And that's what we will do in the next step of this research. We plan to take them and to assemble them in the next more complex structures in the arrays of the helices in order to create um, arrays and translate them into the devices, for instance, for uh, the environmental screening, for imaging of the human body, and also uh, for the technological applications for information exchange, for instance, between your computers and other computers.